Morning guys. We are on our way to return the floor scraper. I have an appointment today and then we're gonna get on with our day and I'm gonna try and end this clip right now before GPS interrupts me. It worked. Take the next okay. right. We're out of here, we got it returned, but look at this stuff. Oh, wouldn't you guys love it if we were able to rent some of this stuff one day? That'd be cool. Get in the new house, do some major gardening. <laughs> we are now on our way to our first and only appointment of the day. So here we go. I don't know, where is GPS wanting me to go? GPS is confused and now so am I. Okay, I'll go left. I have a 50-50% chance of getting it right. So I'll go left. And was left right? In 500 feet, left was right. Woohoo! One hour later, the appointment is done and I'm headed home. I think if I can find my way out of here. Oh, that's cool. It's an old police bike. Oh, it looks like a chips bike. You guys remember chips? Man, I'm dating myself. I date myself a lot. Good thing I'm a cheap date. <laughs> See what I know. I think I need to go to uh, Ikea by myself today and get uh, get Phoenix's uh oh eh. Ugh. get Phoenix's uh, birthday gift. Okay, I'm taking the big truck out. I don't trust it very far from home. I'm sorry, truck. I I, I do like you. I do. You're fine. You'll get us there and back. I'm just not used to taking her on long trips. There's nothing horribly wrong with her. Nothing to cause you to break down. But she's an older truck, so. I have to go and get uh, Phoenix's uh, birthday gift today. We're going all the way to Renton. And Renton from here is about, gosh, what is it? Like, I don't know, 35 miles. So at least like 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back, not including traffic. I gassed her up, I'm going to gas her up, check the oil, check the coolant, brake fluid, power steering fluid, transmission fluid. I think we're good to go. Here we go. Well guys, she got us here. So we're gonna go inside and um, I didn't pay attention to see where I ordered this at, so this should be interesting. I'm just gonna grab all my stuffs and go in there and get this done. So I made it down here. They said that I can go to, that this is a self-serve item. Well, it's pretty big, so yeah, 30, aisle 30, bin 25. Aisle 30, bin 25. All right, well, I'm here. Okay, I have found them. Now I need a cart. Wow, look at this place, it's freaking huge. I just can't, oh, there's a cart up there. I just can't get over the size of everything. It's a cart, I found one. I don't know how badly I wanna get on this thing, just ride it around. I won't. And I totally could have fit these into the escape too. I think. Maybe they're longer than what I thought, but uh, I'm gonna throw them in the back of the dirty Jesse Duke truck. All right. Oh, there it is. I was looking for a cart return bin. Hopefully, I'm hoping that all of you guys take the time to put carts least in the cart return bin a lot of times what i'll do is on the way into the store i'll grab a cart from the cart return bin because it just makes sense i mean you're there the cart's there might as well grab it but it's so much better I'm just leaving it in the parking lot for other people to park around and contend with oh more fun oh i'm such a kid i'm never going to grow up Oh, it's fine.
And here we go. What happens to an old vehicle when it sits a long time? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, you get these things that start to fly around in the cab with you when you're driving down the road. Oh, it's a freaking wasp in almost winter. I guess the heat in the cab made them, uh, or made it come alive, so that only tells me there might be more. Ugh. That was freaky, driving down the road and having a wasp flying around inside the cab. Okay, I'm almost freaked out now. Ugh. Looks like I made it home and we still have a couch. Nobody wants my couch, why not? It's an awesome couch. Coda. Hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Hi, Buffy. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me. We have Phoenix's room all uh, cleaned out. Oh, in case you guys didn't know, Phoenix is getting a new bed. This one here is a loft bed, so it's gonna bring it up here, so he's gonna have space down below, thus maximizing the space in the room. Speaking of space in the room, where'd Coda go? Oh, there you are. Hi, how are you enjoying your stay? Do you like this? Hmm? Good boy. What the heck is all this stuff? I don't know. It's stuff. I like this stuff. I want more stuff. It's so interesting. It has so many different smells. I love this right now because it smells like wonderful wood in here. It smells like pine. It smells so good. But this is not, uh, this is not like particle board. This is all real. Look at that. When somebody says knock on wood for good luck, this is real wood right there. However, I did have to make one modification. All these uh, uh, slats fit into slots that have been, um, oh, there's a word for it. Hold on, there's a word for it. They've been, I can't think of the word. The closest thing I've got is dremeled, and that's wrong. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's a, a slot that they put into the wood, and it was too thin. It wouldn't accept the, the piece there. It wouldn't accept one of these. So I had to go, and I had to... Uh, fix it so I fixed it I widened it actually it would fit in one side but it wouldn't fit in the other it was like tapered down so I just took the correct width drill bit and I just went down because my my pseudo uh, Dremel tool it's broken it doesn't work too well so there's four sub assemblies front back left and right and we got those two right there so we're sitting here getting it done Gonna surprise Phoenix. I can't wait. It's becoming a bed, although the ladder is gonna be over here. You flip this whole thing upside down, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to achieve that, but it should be interesting to watch nonetheless. I would have done this time lapse, but it's so dark and dingy, and the lighting in here just is not flattering at all. And I didn't think of well, I thought of time lapse, but it was in this room and this room and it was just uh, whatever I'm just getting this done I have to get it done I've got other things I need to do hi doggy speak good girl can you whisper 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 good girl Coda can you go boof go boof no not you no I didn't say yawn Coda go boof boof Oh, good boy! You want treats? Good boy, good girl. Router. That's the word I was looking for earlier. I had to router out that bit. So, we're all done. So, yay. Awesome. Now I got other stuff I gotta get to too. <laughs> gotta clean up all this mess and uh, do some business paperwork and call it a night. What a day, huh? Pretty productive. Hey. Eh? Okay guys, so that's it. That's the evening. Phoenix's bed is done. I have started COC, so Buffy's like, what? What, can I come up here now? Oh no, you just want this, don't you? you do you guys remember this? This is one from when Phoenix was a baby. Buffy wants to eat it.
I was showing Angie how this thing right here will sit on the shelf. And it just starts doing this all by itself. Freaky. It's a freaky toy. First comment of the night, El Hoff, you say... You say first. I've got my own laugh track going. Uh, Ricky R, you say first. Well, both of you weren't first, but you're very close. Uh, obviously, El Hoff was first. Uh, K Bear Fuzzy Ears, third, LOL. I'm so happy you guys have found the one that makes your heart smile. I'm also thankful that I found the same in my other half. That is cool. It is so cool when you're able to find that person that you just, like, mesh with. Halloween fur. I did see the end of COC from last night, and the Jello oil thing just didn't know what to say other than it's disgusting, and I bet that engine is ruined. And I'm not a mechanic by any means, but I know enough to know it ain't supposed to look like that. This is true, and I don't know if, if that was uh, real or if it was fake. I don't know. But what I do know is I have never, ever seen anything like that before, and it's hard for me to imagine that actually happening. It's almost like somebody, like, put jello in there after i don't i i don't know nicole flynn good morning um i put your christmas card and phoenix's birthday card in the mail this morning i put happy birthday phoenix on the envelope that has his birthday card in it awesome thank you very much um i'm planning i, I know yours won't be there tomorrow but i was planning on going today but i spaced it off because i had like you know this wasp that was like trying to get all up in my face in the truck um i was going to stop at the p.o box on the way home and i didn't and she is still sitting here she's just like waiting for this thing to like oh man she wants to eat that thing so bad uh and you say and you say eight crazy nights is a cartoon and i absolutely love all adam sandler movies speechless just use ardex patch skim it and the glue goes away use a buffer with a screen sweep and install new flooring huh I'll have to look into that. Thank you for that uh, recommendation. Joseph Lau, you say, hello, Hellions. K Bear Fuzzy Ears says, hello. Hope you're still doing okay. Joseph Lau says, uh, oh, I thought it said ears feeling very tired. No, it's K Bear Fuzzy Ears at uh, feeling very tired, but not too bad so far. And K Bear Fuzzy Ears said, yay. Love it when you guys talk to each other. Aloha, Lara. You were driving around the roundabout, and I was saying, Big Ben, Parliament. Please tell me you know the reference. I do not. I know, I probably just disappointed you. I keep missing these questions of the day. I didn't realize you asked the question. I guess in my brain, if you don't say, hey, this is a question of the day, that it doesn't register to me that it's the question of the day. But to answer the previous question of the day, I have never put my first my fist through drywall. If I get angry, I just walk away from the situation. When I was in my teens, I used to break things until I realized if I broke something, I would have to clean it up that cured those little tantrums. Yeah, I was the same way. I mean, I've never really broken things, but I, I've, I've learned from other people's mistakes. It's like seeing somebody break something, it's like, oh, now you broke it. Oh, I remember I was working at this one uh, automotive uh, place and this really cool guy all of a sudden just like flew off the handle. He's working on his own truck. It wasn't a customer's. Um, but he was doing some th something to his truck and it didn't work out and he went inside and just started beating on the front windshield and kicking it with his feet and i'm like dude he totally ruined his windshield i think that he accidentally cracked it or something like that so i was just like whoa dude i think that he went and like kicked his grill and when you do that you ruin so many things you compound the problem like 200 fold so yeah i try not to do that carrie ann olsen you say we got the christmas cookies done the kid i knew he didn't punch a wall with a stud he punched a drywall, and it went through, and he hit the stud. Two by four. Yeah. I, 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 I got that. And, oh my gosh, I must hurt. Okay, I think that's it. No, that's not it. Let's take care of this, too. A very, 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 very special thank you to everybody this month. And I, I know that I talk about um, Patreon and being a patron. Um, I sincerely appreciate everybody because it makes what I do here more worthwhile because there are fees that are involved and I talk about it all the time. I pay for the music that we use. I pay for um, the, uh, the, the the web hosting and camera stuff and a higher speed internet so that we can upload even though you know, that's a different story altogether. Um, but all these different things. Uh, the P.O. Box. Uh, 
And when you guys help me out, it really, really helps me out. And I will tell you that um, because of you guys helping me out, um, I'll be able to get Phoenix uh, uh, one or two more things this year for his birthday and Christmas, which everything is really tight this year. And I hate talking about personal finances and stuff because it's really kind of private, but um, it, I just wanted to emphasize the sincerity that I feel towards you guys that take this extra step and help us out. So uh, with that being said, uh, $5 or more patrons for the month, uh, Ben Larson, Jolson, Tony and Jules, Ron Perkins, Lisa W., Carolyn Flynn, Tony Fredrickson, Jason Walker, Nicole Flynn, Todd Wilkinson, Clarence, and Growing Up Disney. Thank you guys so very, very much. And that's it, guys. Happy haunting. Oh, if you wanted to help out Patreon, the link is down below. I believe it's uh, patreon.com forward slash uh, beyond1031. Pretty easy to uh, to recognize. And we, we try. I try to give back to you guys, too. I really do. We've got some... Uh, uh, we've got a new Ponitcher going out, so we've taken a picture of the dogs, and then they've put their paws on the back of it, and that's their Ponitcher, their signature. Um, Angie and I uh, got through taking pictures this weekend, and for those that um, select that tier, uh, we'll be sending, uh, signing those and sending those out this next week. Um, what else? We also have uh, video chats, and we have uh, a phone call. I'll, I'll call you guys. Um, just depends on what tier that you have and of course uh one dollar or more will get you access to especially the awesome video that we i've been working on all year and you guys well patrons patrons are going to get to see it first i'm so excited about that i'm so excited this is oh i'm so excited okay my excitement needs to be contained because it is time to edit and go to bed so i will see you guys tomorrow happy haunting thank you so very much for watching we'll see you tomorrow